Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Made Homestead. I'm Marion and my husband, he's around here somewhere, he's Andrew. And today we are going to officially start milking our uh, little goat mamas. Uh, I have tried them, I did try them a little bit, um, you know, like within the first week that the babies were born. I just wanted to kind of get the technique down and know what I was doing, see what it was like. I don't know, super excited. And uh, so they did get milked, I mean, just a little bit, but today we're gonna do a real milking. We won't milk them completely out because the babies are just about, they're like three and a half, uh, three and a half weeks old, three, three and a half weeks old. So they were separated last night. Uh, we're gonna milk the mamas out some this morning and then let the babies have the rest and the babies have grain in their stall today. So they have just a sweet mix and lots of hay, fresh water, because they are old enough to start eating those kinds of things. They've been eating the hay and they have been nibbling on the grain a little bit, but the mamas, they like to get in there and pig it out and don't leave anything for the babies. So now that they're locked up, um, they, they, they have the opportunity to eat a lot more grain and we are gonna get some electric fencing up so we can move the mamas out during the day, uh, part of the time, not all the time, part of the time. And uh, because we will start moving the transition in the kids over to bottles and uh, prepare them for going home to their to their new homes, at least the two little bucklings that we have. So, all right guys, uh, they are anxious, I'm anxious, so let's get started. All right, now, just a, I've got a little dishcloth and my milk pail that I'll cover it up with, so keep stuff out. I've got some homemade udder balm that I'll put on their udders. Once we finish milking, got some hand sanitizer. <laughs> Come on, Fifi. Come on up here. Drew, I need their food, honey. Good morning. Are you ready to be milked? You probably are, aren't you? Now, like I said, I'm new at this guy, so what I understand, you gotta give it a little, you don't punch her. You just kind of push up into it. The kids hit harder than I do. See, I haven't had to, she's a very, she's been a very needy child. <laughs> but as far as a mama goes, giving birth was just, I mean, amazing. It was like, she was, okay, hang on there, Fee. She was ready to go and the baby came out. 10 minutes later, I mean, another one popped out and it was just, it was all, it was great. Now this being our first day together doing this, I'm not going to like milk an awful lot. And I don't know why, but I'm a better milker with my left hand. <laughs> I'm a right-handed person, but I'm a better milker on my left. I know my angels, oh my heavens. We wanna leave plenty for the babies. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna get today. So now I'm gonna put a little udder bomb on her. There you go, pumpkin. It's okay, let's get y'all doctored up. Don't knock my milk pail over. Cause you wanna be sure and put something on their udder to seal it. It's cause they lay down and everything and you don't want dirt to get in there. Hang on, Fifi. Down for grain. Yep. No Let me spray your head because you've been acting crazy with your sister. Hang on. Hold still. This is just wound spray. Um, it's uh, iodine. It's a, like a weak iodine mixture. All right, baby girl, you did good. Come on. Come on. Come on, Fee. Hold still. All right, I'm gonna sanitize my hands because I've had them all over that udder bomb and all over Fee. Drew? You got some? We need some food. Need some food. I don't know how I'm gonna do this by myself. All right, now this little heifer right here, we've got to hobble her because she's just a fancy dancer or a prancy dancer or something because she is like 
see just to touch her foot she's like all over the place and we got to adjust that hobble just a little bit there you go all right drew we need to lock her down love bug i don't know how i'm gonna do this by myself <laughs> I guess I'll figure it out. It is time to trim some hooves too, girl. It's only been, it's been about six weeks, but. So we're gonna wipe her down too. Now, one thing I forgot to do, it's like I forget something every time I try this. But like I said, when you're new, <laughs> don't be too hard on yourself. At least I'm trying not to be. But you need to do a little a little squirt down on the on the thing here <laughs> just to clean the clean the passageway there wow Athena you are seriously full sister and you always want to check for any clumps or blood or anything like that. Hang on there, Athena. See, she's not as, honey, keep her fed. <laughs> yeah. She's got a, a little wound too. You wanna go ahead and spray now? Yeah, just be sure and don't get it in her eyes. I would be really upset. <laughs> oh, fuck it, got All right, did you get her done? Okay, because she's acting crazy over here. Now, Athena, she has always been a very calm doe. Like, feet, when she's in heat, man, she lets the whole neighborhood know about it. She wants her a man, and she ain't playing around about it. But old Athena here, and even Fee, when it came time for, when she went in labor, she yelled and yelled and she likes for me to be close even when we leave her at night to you know or just walk off through the yard away from the pen she hollers at us but athena she's always been a real quiet one and really calm and easy going but i tell you what as far as a mama in the beginning we were having trouble with her just not standing still for her babies and when she was when she was in labor, it was an hour between deliveries. Wasn't it an hour? Like 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes, yeah. And it was just crazy, man. It was very different. And she's quiet. And she was quiet. She kept she I knew she was in labor. Her ligaments were gone. I stayed out here with her. I don't leave them. I didn't leave them, either one of them. And uh, but she was just walking around. You know, like just walking around and wanted to be near me. And I thought, okay, it looks like it's going to be a while. There was no mucus. There was nothing going on. Fee had shown mucus early on, just a little bit, more of a discharge. And uh, so I thought this, this is going to be a late one. Fee was at nighttime when she finally gave birth. It was like an hour after dark. But Athena, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in. I've got had dinner planned. I'm gonna go in, go ahead and cook dinner. That way it'll be ready. And uh, this was like about three o'clock. And then all of a sudden I turned around to head in and Athena wasn't anywhere around me. Cause we were out here like working on the pen and doing stuff like that. She is like, we have got to fix these hobbles a little bit better. But anyway, so I turn around and look and she is in the pen. She went in her pen. Okay, I think we're done with her because she's about to come out of that one. Go ahead and get her. Hang on, I got to get her udder bomb. Hang on. Hang on, give her just a little more food if she doesn't have any. Just a tiny bit. And I turned around and she was in her pen. I go in there, I was like, well, she's in here laying down. I looked over, hadn't heard a word out of her. Looked at her backside, honey, we had a baby coming. <laughs> we had a bubble. <laughs> Not a sound. 
I mean, until the baby actually pushed through, you didn't hear a thing from her. All right. We can let her down. And you doctored her head. Hey, I'm trying to let you go. Oh, I shouldn't have let her go at this end. Okay, honey, undo her leg. I got her. All right, we didn't get a lot of milk. Like I said, it's our first day. I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself <laughs> or on them. Come on, Athena. Come on, baby. All right, my angels. Come on, babies. Come on, my babies. Come on. Where's your mamas? Oh, where's your mamas? You don't need that bucket. Now, I'm not your mama. Fifi, be still. They're hungry. Fifi, stop. Y'all got to stop fighting. <laughs> Why is she kicking the babies off? Y'all two have got to stop. Well, y'all, it is day two of milking. I thought I'd bring you along with me. Let's see how it differs from yesterday or if at all. Um, we're new to it, so I figured some of you may be thinking about getting goats or cows or whatever, and just, you know, kind of see how things go for a newbie. And uh, so we've got a lot of hungry animals around here, so let's get going. Come on, Athena, are you first? Come on, Athena. Don't let Fee in. Let's... All right, head right here. Come here. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. <clears throat> All right, now this is Athena. She's the first one that came through the gate, so she's the first one we're going to milk today. I've heard to kind of keep them the same ones in, the, in, the, in order every day, and I'm sure we'll probably get to that point. All right. Got nice warm washcloth here. We're gonna wipe her teats first. Really get them cleaned up good. Wipe all around her udder because we don't want any dirt or as little of junk as we ha can fall it into the milk pail. All right, we are ready to go. Miss Fifi is waiting patiently. It'll be your turn very soon, little girl. All right, first thing we need to do, we need to kind of push up into the udder to bring the milk down just like the babies do. And just do, you don't have to be, don't punch her. You know, the babies really punch her. Just kind of ball up your fist like this and push up into the udder. All right, now we want to give a couple of squirts. Take a look at it. Make sure there's no blood, no yellow chunks, which would be signs of uh, mastitis. I'm not gonna tell you how to do this because I am seriously still learning and getting comfortable with it, but I'm sure we'll get to that point. I do know they tell you to pinch the top two fingers and then bring the rest of the fingers down around. The top two kind of pinches it off and keeps the milk from going back up into the, the udder and the bottom fingers to squeeze the teeth and bring it into the bucket. Pretty good girl this morning. Oh, I spoke too soon, didn't I? Athena, we have got to get your, all right, you want some more food? Here, here, greedy gut. There's your little more. Come on back over this way. Oh, it's not, come on. <laughs> we have got to get her hobbles straightened out. 
where it holds her into place a little bit better. Come on, Athena, work with me, baby girl, please. You got so much milk left in here. Yes. Hey, Drew, can you bring me the boy's feed? Because she doesn't need any more of hers. Come brush her or do something. Hopefully she'll get to where she's a little easier <laughs> on the stand. I really wanted to get some more milk out of her because she really, really has a bag full of milk. Because we want to start giving the babies bottles in the mornings and uh, get them, start getting them used to the bottle. Because we have two little bucklings that need to find a home. They both have blue eyes. They both come from excellent eye, uh, lines. There are champions, I believe in both lines. There's superior genetics in one. And uh, one of them has a, uh, the lighter color one. He has moon spots, like his daddy, manly. I'm gonna have to throw up some pictures of the mamas and the daddies. All right, Fifi or Athena, she just got to dancing around the hobbles. I've got to, I've got to do some research and create some better hobbles because she just seriously wants to act crazy. And uh, so we got Fifi up here. She needs to come this way some for Mama, and let's get her all cleaned up. All right, then we got Miss Fifi. I'm not gonna try to hobble her because that thing is not quite right. We gotta figure out what we what we did wrong. So we're gonna now you see Fee, her udder isn't quite as full. And hers does really hold Fee has a really nice udder. She um it holds really it's nice and close to her body, which is uh what they look for from what I understand in the shows. And she stands for me, which is an absolute dream. It's just wonderful. They like to stand on the other side of the, <laughs> the thing. <laughs> It's probably just to get away from me, but it makes me want to try to sit on the other side to see if it'll help. Help me out. See, Fifi, she is, Lord in mercy, if Athena was like this, I would really be blessed. <laughs> I guess maybe part of it may be because of Fiona has, was, is my goat. And we're very close. She loves me and, and trusts me completely, which I've always been the one to take care of Athena too, but I don't know, maybe it's just different, different personalities. I don't know. I'm the one he, Athena wanted when she was <laughs> in labor. Fifi, do you want a little bit more? Athena got a little bit more. Here you go, love bug. You wanna eat that? We're going to let you have a little bit extra this morning. I really think I'm going to leave your, your udder like that, though, baby girl. we got to leave some for the babies. Yeah. Now, when I, we finally get enough where we can have a bottle for the babies, um, you know, I'll be able to milk her down a little bit more, and I really look forward to that. We did get a little bit more today than we did yesterday, though. Ugh, hang on, baby. I'm going to get you out. I'm going to get you out. There you go. Don't you kick my milk bucket over. That would upset me. Oh, goodness. All right, y'all. Now, this is how much we milked out yesterday. And do you see the cream? That is what Nigerian dwarfs are known for is their butterfat. 
and look at the cream on the top. Is that not cool? But anyway, I brought this out just, just so we can compare what we got yesterday and then what we get today. And this is our little strainer right here. It has these little filters. Now I'll link the strainer and the uh, filters and the milk pail down in the description box um, below this video for you. If you are interested and would like to check it out. And I just press it down in there, really push it up against the sides really well. It's not a perfect fit, so you just have to push it down in there and form it around there. But it works out great. Works beautifully. And there we go. Then we're going to pour it off. What's going to happen? How much are we going to get? Is it less than yesterday? No way. Oh, man. I really thought we had more. We could have gotten more. Athena's little prancy dancing self. All right. Well, what I'm actually going to do, since I've got a whole jar of it, I don't know. I've been, I have frozen some in little ice cubes. Um, in the ice cube trays and that way you can just keep them in a gallon size bag and thaw them out for whatever you need for making soap or uh, making cheese or whatever so all righty there you go may have enough to feed the babies tomorrow I got to go look at my notes to see how much milk they need to get at this age and uh, we may be able to move this over to uh, bottles and give them their first bottle tomorrow and if that's the case, I'm going to have to take y'all with me. Yes. All right. So there's right at one pint, almost one pint, one full pint. And that's for two days. Now, they certainly had more. Athena had a bunch more. If she would just stand still, man, I could get at least another half a pint off of her and then still have plenty left for the babies. So we've got to, hopefully she'll eventually get to where she'll stand because I would love to capture all that milk. All right, so I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge. You need to get your milk into the fridge as soon as you can. Keeps it nice and fresh and just lovely, lovely tasting. If you've never smelt fresh milk, you need to because it doesn't smell like milk as you know it from the grocery store. It, it doesn't have that milk smell. It's just goat milk, cow milk. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of milk. It's, it's just, guys, it's amazing. Well, y'all, our feed can is low, 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 low. So, Honey has brought some feed out. We're going to add to the can. And we add a couple things with it. Huh, Honey? You betcha. Extra ingredients. Yes. To make it yummy. Oh, they could probably, I don't know if they could hear you. Maybe. Possibly. We have only one mic, guys, because our other one doesn't work. But anyway, we were going to add some extra stuff to it, and we thought we'd take you along and show you what we do. All right, y'all, here we go. This is what we're going to add. I don't have, I ran out of my homegrown oregano. I, that's always better. But we've got this. I bought this from Costco, a dried oregano. Oh. And we have some dried granulated garlic. So that's what we're gonna be adding. And there's no exact ratio. So I'm just gonna turn the camera to the can and you can kind of see how we do it and what it looks like. And uh, that way you can judge from there. Now our layer feed, we have layer feed at 16% layer feed that we get from a feed mill. And so we use that and then we use, uh, it's calf manna by Manapro. Manapro is the brand, but it's calf manna that we actually add in the feed. Now this calf manna, we only, we only, it lasts us a long time, but it's not cheap. It's, we pay, it's like $54 for yeah. that 50 pound bag. And I swear, I think it has gone up. I don't remember what it used to be. I don't remember $54, but that's what we're using for now. We're still using it get my herb garden going a little bit better. Uh, we might get away from that too. We will get away from that. 
mean, get some more, get some other herbs to add oh, in there for for all the vitamins and things that we get from the vitamins we get from the calf manna. All right, now like with oregano, guys, I seriously just over the top like that. I do the same thing with the garlic. You're probably wondering why garlic, why oregano? But these things really help fight against illness and like they get, you know, they get kind of congested and things like that. Oregano really helps fight against that. And garlic helps deter worms. And then the calf manna, it's just full of lots of vitamins and minerals so of all for, sorts. For every five bag, or every bag, I put in about three double hands of double double handed scoops for every single bag. And then you just mix it in. And there you go. And you see. You can see there's not a lot of calf manna, you see? So it's just scooping around, see? They're just little bits, just enough to give them that extra vitamins and minerals. And now we're just gonna do the exact same thing. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. There we go. And one more bag to go. Now I used to add the calf manna to my goat feed as well. And I'm not doing that now. And I've, I've got another mixture of uh, different things, three different things that we use and they get their minerals. So we're gonna, they've only been on it, I guess about a month. We're gonna see how, how, how I like it and um, see how it goes. So once I know I love it and I'm super excited about it, which so far I really am, um, I'll be sure and let you guys know what that is too. There we go. All right, honey love, there you go. All right, let's see what they think. <laughs> oh, and truth be told, it wouldn't matter what you throw out there, they'd run for it. <laughs> it's so good, even the dog likes it. Although she's not supposed to be eating it. Maisie, Maisie, get out of there. Is it the garlic, honey? I know I love garlic. Maisie, Maisie, thank you Maisie girl.